week pregnancy. Yes, that is right. 10 weeks we are now in the double digits. Woohoo! Very exciting. So this week, um, the main theme, which I feel like uh, my videos just keep repeating themselves, the main thing that I'm dealing with is still the nausea. Um, I am less feeling it all, all the time before. In the past couple weeks, it's just been nausea all day, every day. And now it's like, I don't know if I've gotten used to it. And so it's still there, but I just don't recognize it anymore because it's just so dull and I've just become so used to it. Or if I really don't have it during the day, but it seems like during the day and in the morning and mostly through the day, I do fine. And then as soon as um, late afternoon, evening hits, the nausea is back and it's bad. Um, it makes it so that I can eat lunch just fine, um, but when it comes to dinner, I never want to eat dinner, um, which makes it really hard because that's the only meal that Anthony and I really share together, and so, you know, we might want to go out, or he wants me to make dinner, or he wants to make dinner, and then I just never end up eating my portion. So... That's been a little difficult. I'm still taking the B6 vitamins. I just take one a day. Um, it's 50 milligrams and it seems to help some days. Some days it does not help at all, um, but it's all that I really know to do. And I'm hoping um, since I'm at 11 weeks that um, maybe hopefully next week it'll stop and I'll be done with the nausea. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. <laughs> I'm still getting a lot of acne on my face, around my jaw. It's not as bad as last week, but it, I still do get it. I feel like I'm actually looking a bit pregnant or fat if you don't know that I'm pregnant. Um, I do feel like I have a little bit of the belly coming out. Um, and some of my shirts have felt a little snug, so that's kind of exciting to see. I've been having trouble um, sleeping a little bit at night. It's mostly, um, I really just want to lay on my back, and I know that they say that during pregnancy you should never lay on your back or on your stomach. So I'm trying to sleep on my sides, but my shoulders end up hurting so bad in the mornings when I wake up. Um, I'm really thinking that I need to go get a pregnancy pillow soon because my shoulders are just hurting so bad and I just roll from one side to another and the other and I'll you know one arm will start hurting so I'll roll to the other one then that will start hurting so I'll roll back and this one's still hurting from before so it's just like a lose-lose situation. Um, and I do wish I could have more support on my back. So I'm really thinking of getting a pregnancy pillow soon. I've done a little bit of research, um, and I think I talked about this in my last video, but there are so many different kinds of pregnancy pillows that you can get. There's U-shaped ones, C-shaped ones, um, wedge pillows. I had no idea that there were so many pillows, but um, I looked at a lot of reviews and things, and people said the U-shape was actually the best because um, if you roll around to either side, you won't have to move the whole pillow with you. It's just the same on both sides. Whereas a C pillow, it, it'd be better if you had a smaller bed, um, but you have to switch it every time you uh, roll over to the other side. So I think I'm going to go with the U pillow um, and I might just like hit up a Babies R Us and see what they have there. Um, I'm still feeling really tired at night. Um, I feel fine and then as soon as 10, 1030 hits, I get so tired and I just get so cranky and want to go to bed. Um, I'm still kind of cranky at night if Anthony ever wants to keep me up later talking or snuggling or whatever it is. I just get so mad if I don't go to sleep by my 10.30 bedtime. <laughs> this weekend we told more family about our news. So basically everyone in our extended family knows. We told grandparents, aunts and uncles, cousins. Um, everyone knows by now that we are pregnant. They are all very excited for us. Um, I have several cousins, so a lot of my aunts are great to go to with advice, and they're already asking me what gifts they can get me, and it's kind of hard for me to think about gifts right now just because I don't know what the gender is. Only two more weeks until I have my next doctor's appointment, and so I am very excited for that. Um, we'll get to see baby Denzel again, um, we'll get to hear the heartbeat. Um, get a better picture. Hopefully it won't look as much of a blob as last time. Um, 
So I'm hoping I only have two more weeks of the nausea. I'm really excited to find out the gender of this baby. Everyone already keeps asking, you know, what do you think it is? What do you want it to be? Like I said before, I'm still wanting boy. Anthony's still wanting girl. Um, he seems to think that girls are easier. Um, I think boys would just be so fun to dress up. But I know whatever it is, we'll be happy as long as it's healthy. Anthony has even been started telling his coworkers that we are pregnant. We have a really good couple that we go on dates with and they're very excited for us and they wanna go out this weekend and celebrate yeah, my pregnancy and, and everything. So that's really excited. Everyone we've told has been really supportive. I've started telling a few close friends and they're just so excited for me and um, I can't wait until we post it on Facebook and then everybody will know our news and um, it's just so exciting. I've been seeing a lot of my friends post um, pr uh, pregnancy announcements for March so I know it's getting close to April pregnancy announcements so I'm really really excited. I think we're still thinking of posting around the 12 week mark um, but we're not sure yet so Stay tuned for when uh, that happens, because as soon as that happens, I'm going to start posting these on my YouTube channel, and then you all can be in the know as well. Um, it's still crazy filming these in secret. I mean, it's not as much of a secret now because our families know, but still. I'm still able to fit in, you know, my regular pants, my regular clothes. I haven't had to buy any maternity jeans or any maternity clothes yet, so I'm thankful for that. Um, I weigh myself, um, you know, every other day, and I'm keeping around the same weight, um, fluctuating a couple pounds here and there, but not really gaining anything, which they say you really shouldn't be gaining weight until your second trimester anyway, so I think I'm right on track with that. I still have times where I'll just be really, really hot or really, really cold. Um, it just comes on at random. Um, it kind of messes me up because I'll get about where I'm really, really cold and then we'll be about to leave to go somewhere. And I'll want to put on like my heaviest coat and Anthony looks at me like, what are you doing? It's warm outside. And then I go outside and I'm like sweating because I have all these layers on. So that's been kind of funky to deal with, um, especially because, like I said before, I'm usually cold all the time. Um, so when I get those bouts of being super hot, it's just not like me. They say that at 10 weeks, the baby is the size of a prune or a kumquat. Um, so those are very exciting foods to compare it to, but it is getting bigger. Um, I think this week, um, I think this week the baby is starting to form its um, ears and eyes and um, I read somewhere that the what if it's a boy or a girl their hormones specific hormones are starting to form and increase so that's exciting I wish I knew if it was a boy or a girl but I'm sure in all due time we're totally gonna we're gonna throw a gender reveal and that's gonna be so fun I keep trying to convince Anthony um, that we need to not know the gender and then find out at the gender reveal party but Anthony thinks that's crazy and he wants us to be the first people to know the gender not just somebody who we give the card to so I'm trying to, to convince him that it would be more fun and more of a surprise if we waited but he's pretty stubborn like me so of course, if he finds out, I'm not going to wait. I want to know too. So maybe it's just something where both of us know and then um, it's a surprise to everyone else. I'm not sure. What did you guys do? Did you guys have a gender reveal party? Did you know? Did you have someone else know? I feel like it's most common to just give the card, have the ultrasound tech write the gender and then give the card to somebody else and have them, you know, do the cake a certain color or the balloons or confetti or whatever it is you're doing. But Anthony does not like that plan. <laughs> so um, we'll see if his mind changes. Speaking of Anthony, he um, actually got this really cute thing for the baby. Oh, hang on, let me go get it. It's adorable. Yesterday, Anthony went to our um, college where we both attended, University of Cincinnati. And it's located in Cincinnati, Ohio, so it's only like two hours away from here. He had to do some things through work and their career fair and things. And he brought me back um, the sweetest thing yesterday, and I'm just in love with it. So let me show you. Look! <laughs> it's a little baby jersey! Oh my gosh, when I saw this yesterday, I was just in love. Look how tiny it is! 
just I just love it because it says our our school, Cincinnati. It's got a little one on it. It's got the um if you're familiar with Cincinnati, we have the sea paw. So it's got the little sea paws on the um shoulders. And then the little bag has just got the number one. Look how tiny it is. This is um, three to six months. So it should fit the baby by the time um, fall comes and football season and everything. Again, I am due on beginning of April, so April 4th. Um, but I just thought this was so adorable. We're big um, UC fans, and so I can't wait to have our baby in on it. And I just thought it was the sweetest thing. I just, I think it is so so sweet and so so adorable so i had to show that to you guys um a first of many onesies i'm sure we're gonna have for our baby but it's exciting to see anthony actually get in on um, the baby excitement sometimes i i wonder you know how he feels about the pregnancy and everything else but you know when he gets me things like that it, it makes me really excited i feel like before 10 weeks um I really haven't been um, showing in any of my clothes or my stomach or anything, and so it's really exciting. I just feel like this week is is progress. I'm actually looking pregnant or fat, whichever way you think. <laughs> um, that can just lead right into my bump, so let me just show you what 10 weeks of a bump looks like. So, let me just angle this down. Here is 10 weeks. From the front and from the side. So as you can see, I've got a pretty measurable bump now. I mean, I'm not sticking it out or anything. This is just how it lays. So, I mean, definitely, um, you know, a stick out right here. So, um, very, very exciting. I'm still using the cream so that I try not to get any stretch marks. I haven't seen any yet, so hopefully it's working. That should be all for ten, my 10-week 10 pregnancy update. I hope you all enjoyed that. Stay tuned for next week and our 11-week pregnancy update. Bye, guys.